Dahil sa taglay nitong puwersa, hinahanay po ngayon ang mga eksperto ang Super Typhoon Yolanda bilang isa sa pinakamalakas na bagyong naglandfall sa kasaysayan. Lumobo na sa higit 3,600 at 600 ang namatay sa bagyong Yolanda ayon sa NDRRMC. Higit 5,000 na ang nasa listahan ng NDRRMC. 6,193. Iyan ang pinakahuling bilang ng National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council o NDRRMC ng mga namatay ng nagalasa ang Super Typhoon Yolanda sa bansa. for powerful typhoons? Here are the things you need to remember before, during, and after a typhoon. Before a typhoon, we need to prepare enough food to last for 3 days. Listen to radio or TV for updates on the upcoming typhoon. Muli ngang tumama sa kalupaan ang bagyong Yolanda at sa pagkakataong ito ay dyan sa may Buswanga sa Northern Palawan. Dahil nandito, nakataas pa rin ang storm signal number 4 dyan sa extreme. Cut all the branches of trees around your house that could possibly fall on your house. Pack a bag with clothes, batteries, flashlight, water, canned goods, and other necessities in case you have to evacuate. Close the windows. During a typhoon, you need to stay calm and be alert. Stay indoors. Postpone any plans of travels or errands. Monitor the weather reports. Check what is happening around you. When local authorities advise you to evacuate, do so. Move family pets and valuables to a safe place. Turn off gas bulbs, electricity, and water when safe to do so. If you happen to be outdoors when a typhoon comes, stay away from electric posts and wires. Never stand under a lone tree in an open field to avoid being hit by lightning. Never fix your TV antenna during a thunderstorm. Stay away from boats and from bodies of water and enter the nearest safe shelter. After a typhoon, check your house if there's a damage. Continue to check the weather. Check electrical wires at your home. Check if your family and friends are safe. Help your community in cleanup activities. And lastly, help others who are in need. 